Hi, welcome Aquarius to Raise of Hope, Rainbow Light, Love and Healing Tarot. How are you? Hope you're well. If you haven't subscribed yet and you've returned, thank you so much. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And those of you who are new, so am I. So it would be awesome if you can help me build my channel. Please check out my description box. It'll tell you all about me. Um, as a healer for many years, um, I have been guided for the, because I love the tarot uh, to bring my work my work about healing and love into the tarot. So that's what my channel is about. So check out my channel, check out my description box. There's so much information there that will help you. Uh, so many links on the energy field, the chakras, on Reiki, 33 eBooks, and much, much more. And it's all free, so check it out. And today is July 4th. Oh my God, I can't believe six months of the year have gone by already. Um, we are celebrating here in Florida. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful celebration. Hope you're safe and having a good time as well and your freedom. Yes, we are so lucky. So, I don't know what's going on with you, but know that, you know, um, this question is about twin flames. You know that your real twin flame, um, Aquarius, is really on a spiritual level. On a spiritual level, your real twin flame on the spiritual plane is your higher self. They are always with you. They are always forever. Okay, that is your real twin flame. In the earth plane, we meet many people who are on the same spiritual evolution as we are. We are contracted to meet, and it's an explosion, and it could be very intense and sexual and very, very, very romantic. But know that there is a lot of reflection, a lot of um, catalysts and triggers that happen when we are on the same path, and we meet for a reason, to grow. Yes, to grow. So look at anything that happens in this relationship as a growth okay welcome it see it as a gift because it's happening for you not to you okay and again um i always have to stress this but tarot is not about fortune telling it's about possibilities and probabilities and i will just read the energy of the cards how it relates and how guy am guided to give the information so let's see where you are aquarius in this twin flame journey for Aquarius. What is the energy um, surrounding this reading for Aquarius? Connection. The frequency of connection supports our ability uh, to find alignment and to resource with other things, you know, to re the resonance of other things and to really, really understand our world and all our senses, right? Our sensitivities. So connection is very important. Let's see what connections are being made here what connection is here connection is a, is a big word it's a, it's about how you connect are you open uh, are you receptive to other people you know and that's how we learn so let's see where you are in the phases of love in this connection if you are in one or if you're manifesting one or if one has ended or ending or moving on to another level let's see where you are Aquarius today in the now cycle infatuated love infatuation wow so know that um you know whether you're falling you know fast or it's it's just you know a moment or a day or a year or a month enjoy it um, it could be an obsession but the most important thing is to stay grounded all right so make sure this connection that you have here is exactly what is real to you. And we won't find out until we connect, right? So you have to really discern that connection, feel it, be open to understand, be in your authentic self as well, be in your truth about it as well. You know, we, we love infatuations, it's very exciting. And they teach us a lot. They, it, it could be a moment of fun, you know? We need to have fun in our lives, we need to laugh. And to me, laughter is the most important thing in a relationship. If someone can make you laugh, you know, in a relationship, it's, to me, that's a lifetime. Uh, that's a gift. Because laughter is, is really a, it's a healing. It's very healing. And it can really, really open a relationship and be very intimate as well. So let's see here um, where you are, Aquarius, in the scarlet of love. These are oracles that sometimes show the shadow or anything that we need to look at intensely. Foolish. Okay, so this person makes you laugh. I feel this person makes you laugh. You're infatuated because they do make you laugh. They're they're like a clown. Um, it says here they they lack the maturity, but this is who they are, 
and evidently um, you are infatuated with, they do make you laugh. That's really funny. Look at them. <laughs> they have a clown costume on. That is so funny. They make you laugh. That's wonderful, Aquarius. So that's great with being infatuated and you have this connection uh, with someone who makes you laugh, like I just said. It's so funny how the cards come out um, as I speak. So let's see what else is going on here. Let's see what the tarot will tell us about what's going on on different placements of this energy, okay? Let's see where it is for our Aquarius. Someone who makes you laugh. You're infatuated. And really, really, um, you are connected to them. But let's see. Just be careful, you know. And it's okay, you know. Some from relationships, we need them in our lives. And sometimes they become our best friends because they make us laugh. And we can just, you know, just be on that level with them. You know, we don't have to push it any further. Okay. So let's see. Where are we? In the different placements here of in the earth. But you need to surrender or be challenged. What's in the inner star, your heart, the higher self, energies that might be coming in, that came in in the past with you, any future wisdom from spirit or actually any future energies that we should look at. Then we have the wisdom cards and the angel message. All right, so let's see. In the earth, um, Aquarius, in the earth energies, and the grounded. I hope you're grounded because when you get infatuated, you have to be grounded to be clear to be able to make the right connection with yourself and the other. And this person does make you laugh, so it could make us very ungrounded, but fun. Uh, it says here, there's definitely um, some competition here. Okay, so uh, competition sometimes can lead to conflict, but here in this reading, I don't feel that it does. Um, the Five of Wands here shows me that um, there are two people who make each other laugh. All right, and you kind of be infatuated with each other, and sometimes maybe you you one up on each other. You know, oh no, you know, I one up, I one up. Um, so this is definitely something telling me that there definitely is a connection here, and it definitely could be competition of of jokers, <laughs> who makes up who who has the best joke. But it looks like it's something that's working. Um, in connection, where it's going, we don't know, but let's see, um, is there anything that you need to surrender or challenge? What is the challenge here? The balancing act, okay? So in every circus show, we always have the balancing act, correct? So here I'm feeling that that's very important because of the infatuation, because of the laughter and the joking around and, and the connection you have. Be in balance, be grounded, okay? Groundedness is very important. And rise above any situation. Sometimes we have to get serious. <laughs> Sometimes we have to be serious. So get grounded and find out. Sometimes people are in their kind of joker mood all the time because they can't, they don't know how to handle their feelings. So they, they, they never, you never really know what they're thinking and feeling, right? So sometimes that happens in a relationship. So Aquarius, sometimes you have to really, really look at that connection, feel that connection. Is this, is this person being real? Do I always have to have this, you know, competition with them about laughter, about one up on each other? The balancing act, very important. This is what you have to surrender to. Groundedness, feeling balanced in this relationship. So let's see what's in the heart of this um, you. Ah, the high priestess. So the hidden knowledge. So you are definitely deep in your heart discerning about this. This is a connection you're, you're having on one level, on one level of your conscious mind and your heart, it's good. And on another level, you say, well, what is this? You know, what am I doing with this? Where am I going with this? Is it going to go anywhere? Um, but see this, the hands together. To me, you are together in some way. You do have a connection. But if it's just, you know, not everything that you want, you will find out. You know, you don't have to push it away. It'll just happen. Just keep feeling exactly you know where you are with it all the time so that you can make the right decisions and what is your higher self energies telling us here the seven of pentacles reevaluation so your higher self is saying yes reevaluate it and that's where you are you are definitely definitely doing that work you are the goddess maybe you're using the moon cycles as well to help you but know that um, you are definitely in your heart um, definitely discerning all this connection that you have here and whether it's real or not and whether it's enough and whether it's is it foolish is it too foolish are you with a child who's too immature maybe they are and um, your higher self is saying reevaluate maybe you're looking 
um, you know, you, you should look further into something more than this, you know, because the sevens is about looking to reseed and to reevaluate, to maybe grow something more, uh, something better. Um, and maybe for now this is okay, but they're saying, your higher self is saying, keep reevaluating, okay? So let's see here. Uh, any past energies that came in here was the Divine Feminine, the Empress. Yeah, so, you know, the Divine Empress is about self-nurturing. It's about someone who's very, very empathic, someone sensitive, very loving, uh, abundance, abundance. And perhaps this is also a card that could also mean that you were self-nurturing yourself uh, during this time before you met this person. Uh, and they see you as the Empress as well. They see you as someone who is very, very, very endearing and very, very sensitive to them. So keep the Empress for yourself as well. The nurturing qualities of the Empress, Empress is about self-love, you know, and people can feel that from, from you, Aquarius. So the past energies, self-nurturing are in here, but know that they are also not just for, for, for um, how can I say, um, they are an energy that, that expands to others as well. So I feel that this energy here has come into this relationship that has brought this infatuation, you know. Um, you are a healer. Uh, let's see here um, if there's anything from spirit. And they have the Queen of Swords, okay. So I have here, this is a, a kind of a message of spirit saying that to be clear, really, really be clear and real. Be authentic because the Queen of Swords only wants the real thing always. She can see through, you know, anything that's not real. So this is the guidance from Spirit saying the Queen of Swords energy is something you need to look at. As the Empress, yes, wonderful. You are an Empress. You have that Empress energy. But sometimes you have to be more grounded, you know, and be in alignment and know what's real and what's not real. And this infatuation is fine for now. But your higher self is saying to pre keep reevaluating this, okay? So keep reevaluating. Let's see what um, the future self wisdom card oracle. Well, this is a wisdom. I call it the wisdom message, you know, because it's about the future self. It's about the energies that are going on here in this reading that um, really, really, they're very, very um, powerful affirmations uh, from these cards here. They, I call them the wisdom card, okay? It's the future self message. For anything that's going on here and then we have a message from the angels so let's see what we can um, resolve here in any way for you Aquarius let's do this one more time here nice and tight this is wow 108 cards <laughs> here we go so the wisdom message for you in this reading of reevaluation you're going to make mistakes and it's okay. Sometimes you learn by messing up. So as I said, as spirit has said, your higher self, reevaluate, okay? Be sharp and assertive and clear and it's okay to have fun, but keep reevaluating and know exactly what it is that you want, okay? So let's see what the angels have to say in this message for you Aquarius let's see what they're going to say for you um, to finalize your message of the twin flame journey reading for you let's see what they have to say one more time and let's see for you Aquarius it says here have faith have faith, <laughs> Aquarius, okay, have faith. Um, trust your, your faith and your inner guidance in your situation, okay? So have faith in it. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, wishing you the best. Have a wonderful weekend. Be safe. Bye-bye now.